This one is amazing. And the vinegar on this one. Christmas is upon us and here I'm bringing you five different outfits for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day or New Year's Eve so you can look amazing with little money and a bit of love to sew some remnants together. Little disclaimer here, I love sewing useful stuff I'm going to use on an everyday basis but when I saw this pile of remnants I couldn't resist because I wanted to try to make something more spectacular, more glamorous. So I thought it was a good idea to have this as a wardrobe, as a as the little black dress. But I love the designs, I love how they look and if you like what you see I leave you a link to every of them uh, in the description box down below and at the end of the video a list with all of them together and if you like what you see please consider subscribing I would really appreciate it it helps the channel a lot and that way you don't miss anything and you can go and say hello on Instagram as well for my five outfits I have two jumpsuits and three dresses and I have them ordered from the older one to the newest one I made last year and by chance the two jumpsuits are together so let's start with the first one. This jumpsuit looks great and the fabric is really cute. I made it tracing my own block of measurements and I made two of them from scratch. It has an invisible zipper and the back panels go from shoulder to ankle while on the front ones I cut it on the waistline so I didn't interrupt the floral pattern and I think it looks amazing with a sash you could wear it to uh, any event really uh, and it looks really nice on a daily basis as well because even though the fabric is quite nice and a bit shiny it's not a lot. I mean, you can't argue this is like a killer outfit, can you? I made it from two really cheap remnants I found in the remnant box. They are both stretchy velvets, so I was afraid it was going to be quite loose on the neckline. So I traced my own pattern and I was really careful with this v-neck. And to avoid cutting it on the bias, like you can see it now, I cut it on the grain. So this bit is on the grain and the rest is on the bias, so that way it doesn't stretch as much and as well I have uh, it has a lining on the inside with uh, cotton so it doesn't stretch at all a uh, poplin. I also added French starts which are really youthful and you avoid having to put bust starts and waist starts as well and the trousers are just a simple pair of trousers cut from my own uh, block of measurements and it has an invisible zipper on the back I love it as it is but you can also add a belt or some other accessories if you like it even though I think because it has two different fabrics it's already giving a really glamorous vibe. Now you understand why I haven't worn any of this don't you? On to the next one. I love this dress, I love the vintage vibe it gives, it's really elegant, really chic as well and it's really easy to make, you can make it in two hours. Why is it easy to make? Because it has no closures, so no zippers or buttons or anything, so even for beginners it's quite accessible. It has two front panels for the bodies that are pleated and they overlap but the back only has one and then for the skirt you need to cut the same twice and even if you make a mistake you can easily change the look of it by pleating it a different way or gather it if you don't like pleats as much and because I made it midi I made a slit on the side which is quite easy as well because you just need to open the side seam and a top stitch all around it. So even for beginners it's quite easy and you'll have a lovely dress that doesn't go out of fashion at all. Tell me if you make one. Like I was saying, I know, 
This is an amazing dress. The sequin fabric I was given for free because I got a few, a, a big pile of remnants and this was only a little piece. So they gave it to me for free. And it has a trick because I will have liked it to be a whole mini skirt, but it's not. It's just what you can see. Basically, it's uh, hiding uh, this side, this hip. But it looks amazing either way. It doesn't move at all and the satin was quite cheap as well some years later and it was amazing to work with it has splits and the inside it has a poppling on the sequence so it doesn't stretch that much and i traced my own pattern of course and i think it took me a whole day to sew i was here morning afternoon and even night but i think it's worth it because i learned a lot i'm sure you can make it different ways and improve it uh, and make things better but I love how it is. Should I go to the bakery like this? And the last one is this slip dress with a cow neck made in this satin. I think the satin was a bit too thick. For this, maybe a thinner one would have been better because it's a bit structured, it doesn't move as much. And I was said that I should have cut it on the bias. I did cut it on the grain, I didn't know. But having done the skirt on the bias, it would have been a good idea. I trace my own pattern and the panel on the dress goes up to your head and then it falls inside to make a facing and the cowl neck. It doesn't need any zippers, it's called a slip dress so you just slip right into it. In my case maybe forever because I think I've gained 2 kilos since last year and I don't know how I'm going to take it off really. So these are my ideas for a Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and New Year's Eve outfit. I hope you've enjoyed it and you give it a go. And don't forget to subscribe if you like sewing, making the most out of your stuff, upcycling and talking about sewing. We do everything. And um, I'll see you next week probably in the same outfit. Bye. Bueno, este vestido es súper... Uy, no está el micro puesto.